Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to give you a quick update on the Evilly cast and what is available in the new version. If you haven't seen my previous video I'm going to link it up in the uh, in the cards but cast basically is just a web version where you can create uh, various dashboards uh, let's say from the various rooms you have and then be able to control your devices uh, through this uh, web dashboard. So if you have like an iPad or an or Android tablet, you can just turn it into like a, a touch screen control. And there has been a number of changes on this in this new version, which is, uh, let me just go back. So it's cast 1.3.0. And by the way, in order to get this cast and uh, uh, all this web editor and the web versions, you need to be subscribed to the EVLink Advanced Plan, which is a paid service. So going back to the new stuff. Well, the obvious change is that the background has been changed from the blue to this orange, uh, warm orange color. It is a fixed color at the moment, but maybe that could be changed in the future as well. Right on the top, you can see that there is a weather and there is a calendar widget. So you can just enable these and then you specify the location and it's just going to show you the weather. You can't really do anything about it. It's just like a static thing. And also it's the same with the, with the calendar. It's not going to show you any of the calendar entries. It's just a basic calendar which highlights the current day. And of course it shows the time here as well. On the main part, the, uh, the changes here is uh, that there are a few more devices that are supported. So namely, for example, you can control LED light bulbs, not all of them. For example, it doesn't support my really old B1, but it supports my new B2. And as you can see, I can change the brightness and also the color temperature. It also supports uh, LED strips. It supports, for example, my really old L1 LED strip. But I also have an L2 LED strip in the in the office and it doesn't support that. So it's not all of them at the moment. But as you can see that it, they are going to all these various lights fixtures with brightness and color and color temperature control. So I'm guessing all of the strips will be coming in the future. So for example, from the, the bulbs, I can say that the B2 uh, and the B5 bars are supported. And what you can see here is I have a Zigbee motion sensor, which is actually linked to my NS Panel Pro, and you can put this into the widget. You can't really do much about it, but you can, you know, check the temperature and the humidity. And even in this uh, short, in the card format, it also shows you the temperature and humidity and the uh, um, and the battery level. And it's not only this sensor, but also the motion sensor, the door and the window sensors are supported. So it's just going to show it up in a separate card where it shows whether, you know, motion is detected or not, or the window is closed or open. I don't have, or well, I do have actually a, a Son of Duo, but I don't have it connected. But there is a new card for the Son of Dual as well, especially if you have it in curtain mode. There is a separate UI control where you can open or close the curtain. So you have like buttons to open and close and also a slider to, you know, what percentage if you want to control that way. And probably the other thing which is also new is this energy dashboard. Again, not all the devices are supported, but this is pretty much like how it works on the NS panel as well. So for example, I have a POW release too, but I also have a POW Elite and I have both of them so I can control it. Um, I mean, I can turn them on and off, but only the POW release two shows up in the energy panel. So I, if I have another POW uh, release two, it will show up as a different card here. So that just shows up automatically and that shows the consumption on this for the last uh, seven days. So this is today and actually this is connected to my dishwasher. So you can see that we used the dishwasher in the last five days and then we haven't didn't use it on the 7th of November and I guess on the 6th of the November probably used it twice. Yeah, because like one washing cycle takes roughly around 1.3 kilowatt hours. So it's a very quick and easy, uh, you know, overview of a consumption of a particular device. And on the top you get the daily and also you get the monthly usage as well. The editor itself hasn't really changed much. So you can edit your uh, cast screens on the web.evlink.cc. So you can create multiple, let's say, homes or rooms or maybe upstairs, downstairs. So as many as you want. 
and then when you edit it so the new thing is uh, you have this checkbox whether you want a calendar or the weather uh, widgets on the top and you specify the city and you you either enable both of them or none of them so it's like that the energy dashboard comes up automatically as soon as you have selected a device which has energy monitoring as i said mostly it's only the pow and the pow release 2 at the moment and then now you can see all the devices that are uh, supported so i mean not all of them are connected at the moment so this is why i haven't linked them but I think fan wasn't supported before, so fan is supported now. So you can control, you know, fans, the lights on the fan and the fan speed. And uh, just like the bulb where you can control the brightness, you can do the same with the D one as well, which is here as well. And as you can see, POW, you know, the TX series and the T1 series are supported. This is the temperature and the humidity sensor. So if I have other Zigbee devices, uh, that will show up here as well under their respective rooms and uh, you know all the new stuff like the HMI was which I think we have seen this last time as well and the M5 and as I said dual is also supported and from the light bulbs I do have a D01 light bulb which is not supported but you can see the D02 bulb and the D02 filament is here and yeah some of the other so POW Elite and the L1 Elite is uh, also supported here but as I mentioned, the POW Elite doesn't show up in the dashboard or the energy dashboard yet. So if you want this type of monitoring where you know, it shows up in your um, cast screen as well, um, make sure that you buy the POW release too, or unless you probably have to wait for a few more months until the Elite gets supported. So I think that will be all quickly. If you are interested in this, I'm going to leave links in the video description how you can access this page and of course how you can subscribe to the advanced plan and if you want to learn a little bit more about this uh, i explain this a little bit more detail in my original video when i talk about the evening cast for the first time so that will be all for today thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video